Hello guys and welcome to new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix your broken WordPress website. So the first thing that you will need to do now is to open your web browser. Either it was Google Chrome, Safari, Opera, Microsoft Edge, any web browser will do the work. After that, you will need just to go to uh, the searching bar and type WordPress. And basically after you go to the WordPress and click on the wordpress.com you click on the first link now we will need to create an account so we can access the wordpress.com so basically we need just to click on get started and here we will need to add our email address you add your username and then you choose password otherwise you can just log in with using your google account or apple account and basically after you create an account, you will need just to verify the account by clicking on a link that will be sent to your mailbox uh, by the WordPress organization or website. So basically, after you create an account and verify it, we will need to log into this account so we can start uh, using our WordPress website or platform. So basically, you will need just to use the email that you have just created the account with you click on continue then you go to the password you enter the password and finally you will need now just to follow these simple steps so now after that you logged in to your uh, website uh, dashboard you will need just to know that these problems of broken websites can have multiple reasons uh, the first probable reason is maybe you have some outdated plug so basically make sure that you uh, disable or, or deactivate all your plugins that you are using and start uh, using one by one so you can know where is uh, the exact error. Otherwise it can be your cache or uh, you have uh, some full memory of your uh, website and basically you need just to use some uh, cache uh, plugin cleaner. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, exactly. And then you will need just to go, for example, I'm using the WP Optimize and make sure that you go to the cache and it will start cleaning the cache of your website. So it can be uh, faster and it will work. Otherwise, you will need just to go to your uh, website server and go to some content of your, uh, let's go for the content of your website and here we will find this wordpress file and basically here you will need just to go to uh, the wordpress configuration or config file so here we will find wp config and you will need just to edit something and make sure that you will have the wp debug uh, that is true so just turn this one as true uh, because this one will start uh, identifying the problems of your website and make sure that you add a log to your uh, content and to check the log you will need just to go here to wordpress content and here we will find a log uh, a log file and after you go to the log file you will find that there is uh, that it will state all the errors of your file uh, or your website and then you can uh, you can locate the error or the exact error or uh, the problems of the website. So basically, this is how you can do it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.